from the Cokia Valley. I was headed towards our destination, we passed the Wood House Bastille House. This was a fortified farmhouse to protect the farmers. It came from border reavers and assaults. And we're heading up now to Ladywell, up the road here. And this is beside Otterburn Ranges. And we're heading towards Ladywell, Holy Well. And it'll be there. Muddy walk on the wheel. <laughs> and it's just up the top of this road, just outside the village. And there's a memorial to Queen Elizabeth. This memorial was for her Platinum Jubilee. Unfortunately, she didn't last much long after that. But here we are, come up now to Ladywell, which has been affected by storm damage, reportedly. <coughs> the well is 200 metres north of the village, and we can see the rectangular shape there. And here we have the actual rectangular pool which is probably 1788 when one of the Duke's statues was reported here from Annex and the cross on the centre pool is Victorian. Uh, it looks like St Paulus's cross, someone's left, a twig cross. And apparently St Paulus baptised people here in the past. And it is a place of pilgrimage. And here we are in the village, and we've come to the village's church. St. Mary of the Virgin Church was apparently built on an Augustine. Augustinian nunnery founded around 1124 and uh, well, that was apparently burnt down by the Scots in 1312. Uh, this present church is 1720 uh, and has a nave, chancery and north vestry. Quite pretty inside. The architect was George Pickering who apparently made a mess of another, a number of other churches, including Rothbury. But there's a beautiful stained glass here, which is quite interesting. There's some interesting embellishments in the church, such as this uh, copy of a seal, <laughs> connected with the actual diocese. Very interesting windows. Very basic but acceptable. <laughs> Again, another interesting window. Not quite modern. Very decorative rather than have any quarter sort of religious symbolism. Interesting roof. Minimalistic, but serves its purpose. The church and all the religious buildings were obviously built because of the well and the poorness. And You can see yet more glass. And there's the, the baptistry font. <laughs> and here we have an interesting thing, a well just on the bottom of the road from the church, which is actually still functional. Whether this was for people or horses, animals, horse riders, who knows. But it's still in working condition right beside the river. A very interesting aside. And looking back up, you can see the church and possibly two towers. 
and originally from the Priory. Hope you enjoyed this program, this episode. Please like, subscribe, or buy us a meme. Thank you.